I have another colleague here, Smiles, that I'm really interested in talking with you about because we've we've briefly talked about this before, but they're kind of talking about this in in the chat right now. And Sven is going to tell us what's going on. So Sven, you're calling in from Washington. What's going on, Sven? Good evening. Good evening. Um, yeah, so I guess we can hop right into it. Uh, I do see often there's a common response to ancient alien theory being that it is racist and rooted in racist theories of how ancient cultures of color built these amazing monuments. And mm -hmm. I'm just wondering if maybe get your opinion if that's like a red herring or a straw man when to me it's kind of more taking a, a different approach to these people's mythology. Because um, at one point, wouldn't it just be semantics to be calling these entities gods or aliens, what we would now uh, view them as extraterrestrials? They would call gods because they were superior, superior evolved you know, beings of some sort. Yeah, uh, this is complicated. And I know a little bit about this, but Smiles, I bet you know just as much, if not more, about this, right? Well... So I would be the first to suggest that I think that there are definitely some anomalous elements to uh, some of these ancient structures. And we, mm -hmm. you know, we are, we, we struggle to, to figure out ways that, that they could be done, but you know, there's been some very uh, creative and interesting uh, explanations for how some of these, these, these structures could be made. Um, and I, and, and I do, but I do also agree that there is a, a, a racist, trope element to these kinds of, of theorizing that they, you know, surely these, these, uh, you know, backwards or, or, uh, less, uh, uh, advanced people could have, uh, accomplished these amazing feats. And I think that that's a very dangerous idea. And, um, some of my favorite researchers in the UFO field like Jacques Vallée have long warned of, uh, these racist tropes, not just in like the ancient astronaut kind of theorizing, but, uh, in in the UFO culture itself, in in the contact D culture uh, that predates the abduction phenomena, and so forth, and and still up to this day, uh, and and largely when it merged all uh, in the the 80s and 90s with the the right wing militia culture, but um, but I do think it's important to to consider, and and I think this may be part of Sven's point, perhaps that you know I've always said. You know, just just because uh, you know uh, some culture thought that there were these super beings who were pushing the stars across the sky, uh, we we find that to be inaccurate. Um, you know, the stars are there. They were they were at, you know grappling with with a phenomena that they they you know might not have had uh, uh, the same data that we had to 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 come to a conclusion about. Um, and I think it, it's it's hard to and it's dangerous to try and ascribe. Uh, you know, all these beliefs of our own onto, onto, and, and these interpretations onto these uh, cultures and their architecture and, and whatnot. Um, yeah. uh, you know, you see this over and over in these kind of cable TV shows and in the UFO community at large of, uh, you know, every disc shaped or weird object in a painting is, is a alien spacecraft or is, is a UFO when they're, uh, very likely are some other interpretations of that, that that make more sense in terms of the beliefs of the people of that time. Um, but um, yeah, yeah I th it's, it's, there is some specific history to this that I'm aware of. And maybe you can kind of verify my knowledge on this, but a lot of this stems from the author of the book, uh, Chariots of the Gods. Eric Von Donigan. Yeah. Eric Von Donigan, right? And so this is a guy who has been discredited uh many times by many academic uh people right? still still making and the rounds on still, doing the tours still doing stuff but he he is like kind of the i don't i think he was the first person to say like that ancient alien the ancient alien ideas that we talk about today he's kind of the origin point for a lot it, of this, it actually right? goes back to a contactee. I, I believe it's predated uh, before him by a uh, contactee named George Hunt Williamson. Uh, there okay. were a lot of there were a lot of Georges in the contactee community, and George Hunt Williams. We actually have quite a, a collection of George Hunt Williamson's material uh, as part of a, a sub collection of our one of our largest collections in in the archive. Um, actual books from his personal collection, and and uh, it 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 was some of the earliest stuff that gets into. Uh, interpreting ancient cultures uh, as as having uh, a contact with with extraterrestrials or some kind of other 
uh, spacefaring beings. Yeah, but but gen most people pin it on von Donneken, but I, right. I believe it actually and goes back to George Hunt Williamson. So von Donneken, from what I understand from the history of this, is he talks like basically went way out of his depth of field of talking about a lot of different ancient cultures and and making these presumptions about aliens. I've tried to do this kind of amateur translations that weren't good, um, and I, I believe he was also accused of plagiarism as well. But I think one of his particular claims was also that. Basically, ancient alien peoples chose a specific race in the new world to kind of be the leaders. Like I, he, he was a believer in like Atlantis being like a thing and that the Atlanteans, I guess, chose the white people to like be the sa quote unquote saviors of the new world. I think this is a story. Again, I'm not an expert on this topic, but it's something I've read about before. And like that's it's where these kinds of accusations of you know, um, some of this stuff comes from because it, it's, I think it goes beyond a bit more than just obviously like erasing the, the cultures of, of, of indigenous people and, and their accomplishments. One, it does that. But when we talk about this and, but, but beyond that, some of the specific people who were writing about this stuff were also very problematic and, um, probably still are today. I don't know. I, I'm not involved in that scene as much, but that's my take smiles. I don't tell me if I'm accurate or, or your thoughts on that. Yeah, I know. I, I think that's, that's, that's fairly accurate. Like I say, I, I think that there were, there were people who, uh, who's, who seeded this into the new age UFO, uh, uh, contact E culture G uh, GHW, as I mentioned. Um, and, and von Donneken, George Hunt Williamson was 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 more of a niche author for a long time. He's had quite a big influence, though. And this is this is one of the areas that he, he, some have shown that he, his ideas predate von Donneken's publishing. Von Donneken, though, I think was the first who got a, a real big mainstream, wide distributed uh, pub publishing uh, deal. And and that it, it was it was that the prolificness of the publisher. Uh, getting that that word out there that that made his his stuff so widely accepted at least in the the early new age uh, movement. But then uh, I forget when he first started. But Zechariah Sitchin is this yes. other uh, writer who's who's done tremendous work uh, in this area, tremendous damage uh, yeah. in this area that you know uh, many other scholars who are much more scholarly are, uh, uh, have pointed out is is highly inaccurate and and wildly uh misinterpreting uh, these these texts and so forth um but yeah again this th there's a real danger of of the racist tropes and and so much of this material um it just this whole idea of okay there's multiple alien species and they each each of them may have had their own hand in different ethnicities or races here on the earth and you just then you get into this whole idea of bloodlines, and you're you're just yeah. right back with the white supremacists and 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 uh, other racists who just are out there to um, denigrate a whole other groups of people based on the stupidest of uh, yeah. Ideas. And it's unfortunate because like this isn't like a unique thing in history either. I think if you look at um, the history of Germany, especially during like World War II, they were doing there was some similar stuff going on as far as like research into the esoteric research into the Aryans and stuff where they got kind of these ideas about like the, you know, the super race of people kind of uh, historical revisionism, like historical revisionism happens all the time in all different kinds of places. Um, and unfortunately, I do think it does happen in these uh, UFO research communities as well. That's not to say that people who are proponents of these ideas are necessarily racist, but it's important to understand the context in which a lot of these ideas first came up. And I think that, yeah, I think it's fair to say that ancient alien stuff yeah, it's it's mixed in there, uh, at least from what I can see. Um, now, I don't I again like that's not taking account into the individual proponents of, of these people. But I, you, it's hard to erase that as, as part of the history. And, and it does make you wonder, you know, <laughs> and, what are we looking at here? Right? Yeah. And I yeah. And just to, to, to counter that, I would just say, you know, mm -hmm. I think I think ancient astronaut theory so to speak, is, mm -hmm. is there, there's so many different needs. When you talk about the UFO community, I mean, there's, there's yeah. just, there's whole segments of, of, of belief. Um, you know, there are still hardcore UFO researchers who never uh, adopted uh, uh, the belief that 
uh, alien abduction has anything to do with with UFO sightings. Sure. And similarly, they would they would retch or or you know turn away from these these ancient astronaut theories that that center on uh, ancient cultures not being able to accomplish these amazing architectural feats. Um, and, and yeah, so it's there's there's a lot of diversity of of belief in these different categories of stuff, yeah so. yeah for sure. So anyways, man, I think that's our takes. What do you think? Awesome, yeah. Uh, I do have one pushback questioning of something you did with a fallacy. We could do it in Discord after show if you need to move on to other callers. Tell tell me what you think. Go ahead. Uh, but wouldn't that fall under? Because I do appreciate that the history and background is there, but my whole, like, I guess the first question was if that's kind of a red herring or a straw man, because I think that falls into the genetic fallacy where your people more focus on the originator of the claim than the actual claim when I think the claim has evolved, kind of like... Yeah, if, I think like, you're right. If I was to make the fallacy, claim... right? Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. If I was to make the claim that all ancient aliens stuff is is racist or it's 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 all bad because of these people then yes i think that would be a genetic fallacy. i i don't i i personally do not make that claim i do say that the origins of some of these ideas or or the originators rather of some of these ideas were problematic people who did have agendas <laughs> and who did have it include some of those agendas in their writings and um it's important to look at the context by which this information uh, it comes from. It's kind of like people who are really in the anti-Semitic community, or who are looking at at, at 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 the global bankers and stuff. They'll talk about the protocols of the elders of Zion, which is this totally fake document, which has nothing to do with it. And then you know, some people might issue away from that and say, "No, no, we're just asking facts." Now that that's that all that's problematic in itself because you're still trying to pin stuff on Jewish people. But like, we're not talking about that. There. I do believe there are people with genuine interests in in these UFO communities who are trying to find answers, um, and and maybe maybe they they have problems accepting mainstream academic sources. And with that, I would contend with that. But just to think, just to propose the idea, right, that these could be alien in origins, I don't think that's racist. But the people who did believe in this stuff before, a lot of them were. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that's like today. I'm not plugged into that community. I'd have to ask Smiles, but uh, yeah, like I, I would agree if I made that claim, that would be a genetic fallacy. I personally don't make that claim. So, um, but it's tricky. No, I think we're pretty much yeah. in alignment. I agree. Yeah. I appreciate what Smiles said about the diversity and the belief in cultures. So yeah, I think we're pretty much in agreement. All right. Well, cool. Thanks for calling, Sven. Appreciate you doing appreciate that. And call, um, always. Yeah, and hope to hear from you again. But it's like when I bring this up with people, I think it's really surprising. I don't think people expect it. I think some people take it as, oh, is this just another uh, another one of those uh, race critical theorists, you know, SJWs, you know, bringing up their academic nonsense. It's like, no, there's like a clear history here. Like we can look at this like, yeah, the, these people like. We would I would not vibe with these people <laughs> if I was in the same room with them because they they definitely had uh, some other beliefs going on. But I I also think that like th these people inspired some other kinds of thinkers and, and, and you know, researchers into figuring out stuff like what you're doing with Anomaly Archives. And I and, and smiles. I don't know you a whole well. I don't think you're racist unless you show me otherwise. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. I'm but. filled with all the biases that most average people have. But, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, do I, do I discriminate uh, by race? No, no. At least yeah. I do, do my best not to. Yeah. 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 Like, like, you know, you, you obviously know the history of this stuff. So I'm curious how you wrestle with that today. Do you, when you talk with people, does that come up? Is that a thing that, you know, permeates the conversation? Well, ra race and in and, and, and the UFO scene has, has been a, a long unacknowledged uh, red, not red herring, but uh, um, elephant in the room. Um, and and uh, during our um, recent fundraising streamathon, where we had uh, several Saturdays of eight or nine hours of lectures on a variety of, of, of topics, uh, one of the presenters uh, who uh, has uh, did her dissertation 20 years ago on African Americans in the uh, UFO and abduction uh, scene? Um, gave a presentation where she touched on a lot of this, and it's obviously a little too much to go into uh, in, in when we're trying to take callers. But um, 
just suffice to say that there's finally, after, you know, literally 20 years uh, time from when she was writing that dissertation and when I, in several online forums, was asking, well, where are all the black abductees? Mm. You know, um, you oh, know, man, I didn't even think about that. Wow. Yeah, that's interesting. Why it, isn't there? Well, they're, <laughs> they're out. They're there. But it's, yeah, th these are these are very interesting uh, areas to explore. And um, I, folks might be interested in checking out uh, our, our recording of, of her lecture. Uh, and there's actually, there is a, 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 a black experiencer who she's just be, uh, uh, put out a documentary called, I think, yes, blacks see UFOs or something like that. Um, uh, you know, uh, it's, 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 it's a really, there's a lot of reasons why there may not be uh, as many, people record of, of color reporting to, you know, gee, a preponderance of white, uh, yeah. uh, uh researchers, but th oh. this get this gets into the area of, you know, who is someone most likely to report their experience to they're yes. more likely to report it to somebody who they think is going to believe them of or, fit, fit, you know, so there's all kinds of dynamics at play. Oh my there. gosh, Smalls, that makes so much sense. Like, I can't believe I'm I'm just now thinking about this, but yes, like, of course, systemic racism would also affect people self-reporting on their experiences. Like, yes, like, wow, man, that's so interesting. I definitely want to look at that now because, hey, look, UFO communities are getting woke, folks. Where <laughs> Where's everybody else? Come on. That's crazy. That's, wow, wow. You just kind of blew my mind there a little bit, Smiles. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm impressed. 